the Sedgefield Hunters Chase is next. This is a north to one ten handicap. More on the park course at Sedgefield this week, no actual Hunter Chase Field, and it's a two of course, it's a two mile four and a half furlong event. Countess is in Yatapool Road, Sakura Castles, Alex Cherry, Seagrave, Darren Thompson, Warbird. Paul Rhodes, Max, Alex Cherry, Salad Bar, Martin Lidham, Through the Valley of Jumps, Obi Wan, Juan Desta Fable, Daniel French, Clash William Central, Pad Reg Hogan, and the victim, Stu Gray. So they're away then, and making their way towards the first of the 17 fences they're going to take. Alex Cherry's Max pulling for its head, that one has been around a few seasons, you'd have thought he'd have learned to settle by now. It's through the Valley of Jumps that's going to jump in the lead, and they're all safely over the first, although Sackler Castles was a little bit untidy. So passing the winning post and the way in room then, they will now swing out left-handed. The first of two complete circuits of the Sedgefield track, and through the Valley of Jumps is in the lead. Leading by two to Max in second. Countess and Yatter is third as they get over the next one. A mistake there by the grey. That was Countess Zen Yatter. I see that one drop towards the back. Salad Bar is the one who's finding the pace just a little bit too hot at the back. Right through the Valley of Jumps is the one setting it. And Warbird is in second as they get over that next one. Stu Grey's horse was the one making a mistake this time. The victim. So you can see why these are the lower, lower rated horses. They're not jumping particularly brilliantly. Although there's an excellent leap there by Sacra Castles in second. And it's through the valley of jumps in front. Sacra Castles second. Clash William Central third. Warbird the first of Paul Rhodes' two greys on the inside. That one made a really bad mistake there and was passed by his lookalike stable mate, Countess Zenyatta. Salad Bar still the back marker as they get to the sixth. And they're all safely over the sixth and they're well strung out in this one. We're through the Valley of Jumps, clear by four or five to Clash William Central, Sacra Castles in third, One Desta Fables moved through into fourth, then Max and the victim, then all the leader made a real mistake there, hit that one hard, and has come back to the pack a little bit. Salad Bar's trying to move forward from the back, and that's possibly just going to go past Seagray, also Countess Zenyatta for a couple of sketchy jumps, is struggling towards the back, but through the Valley of Jumps is two lengths clear as they come to this ditch. And over that ditch they go, and it's through the Valley of Jumps from Sacra Castles. One Desta Fable looks to be going well in third. Clash William Central is fourth. Max on the outside is fifth. Then comes um, Warbird. Seagraves trying to run on. Countess Zenyatta on the inside of the victim, and Salad Bar is still out the back. So through the Valley of Jumps, over that one in the lead, as they come past the stand again. And past the big screen of the winning post in the weighing room and they swing out for one final circuit of the Sedgefield track and it's through the valley of jumps from one Desta Fable, Max and Sacra Castle then Warbird who's now been switched to the outside, Clash William Central going to try and go up the inside, that's the leading group, there's a gap of three lengths then back to Countess Zenyatta, Seagrave the victim and Salad Bar as they race down towards the next no, with that one they go again one or two slow jumps towards the rear of the field but it's almost three in a line up front through the valley of jumps Max and one Desta Fable and one Desta Fable in the centre might just be the leader now one Desta Fable from Max closest to us through the valley of jumps now being pushed along with a really good jump there by through the valley of jumps has seen it jump into the lead with Max and one Desta Fable the three of them in a line and a gap back to Sacra Castles and Warbird as they get over the 12th. And that time, one Desta Fable landed just in front. From on the inside through the Valley of Jumps. On the outside, Max. Warbird is running on. Then Sacra Castles. Seagrave is also making significant progress as they get over the 13th. That is a fall there. Sacra Castles has gone. So Sacra Castles is out of it. And this four that are clear. Oh, racing down to the fourth left, the 14th. They're all over it safely. Well, Salad Bar looks to be tailing off and maybe pulling up. It's through the Valley of Jumps in the lead from one Desta Fable in second. Then comes Max in third. Warbird is next. Then Seagrave. And there's a gap, big gap to the rest of them. I think we can forget. Over the third last they go. And it's one Desta Fable who's now gone two or three clear from Seagrave who's moved into second. Through the Valley of Jumps is trying to battle back. So too is Max. Warbird is beaten. They're racing down towards the final two then now. And it's one Desta Fable in the lead. One Desta Fable over the final ditch in the lead. From Seagrave in second. Countess Zenyatta was a faller at the back. It's one Desta Fable from Seagrave and Max. 
coming down towards this final fence in there it's one best of fable C grade Max is coming through on the outside finishing like an absolute train is Clash Williams Central through the valley of jumps he's trying to get back into it they come down to the final fence and a slow jump by the leader better jump by one best of fable Max is in front one best of fable on the inside it's going to be Max that wins it though Max wins it one best of fable second Clash Williams Central run out to be third all the way back to Salad Bar and never got into it at all and Max Max is out and wins it um, one best of fable second Clash Williams Central third so Max the winner then for Alex Cherry one best of fable second for Daniel French Clash Williams Central was third for Padraig Hogan through the valley of jumps for Obi-Wan Stuckholm to be fourth and Warbird for Paul Rhodes was fifth <laughs>